Hey guys, today we'll be working on my filter fall, but first I'll get to have these guys out, my sunflowers, they're good to harvest, I'll let them dry and I'll give them to the birds over the winter. I'll just have to watch out because I reseeded the glass, the grass, sorry, and uh, I got rid of all the yellow spots. I went on my knees and hands and went through it with a scraper to get all of the yellow grass out. And I've seeded everything, hopefully with all the rain that's going to fall in the coming up weeks, it will grow again. Now I'll first up cut the sunflowers. Okay, so I'm going to let them dry in my garage. Just need to take off all these flower heads and the seeds will stay in there. Just go over it gently. And then I will leave that dry out. And once all the seeds get out easy, I'll give them to the birds for this winter. We don't uh, eat it ourselves, we just cultivate it for the birds actually. I'll do that with the other ones and uh, that's about it, just let it dry. Now I might have taken it a bit early out, because normally they should see a bit blacker and there should be a bit of black in it as well. So I might be a bit too early this year, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm emptying it out with a small pump. I just agitate the water a bit so that all the debris inside can come out through the pump. The small debris, just pumping it out inside the water garden, at uh, the garden. There are small stones on the bottom. A bit of a uh, lava. Saw an earth roll. Where is it? I don't see it anymore. Just clean it out a bit with my hands. And the filter mats, I just tap them against the screen here and uh, all the debris falls out and because it's raining a lot it will rain off so all should be good I don't clean it with a hose for uh, so that I don't kill off the beneficial bacteria and if you saw one of my other videos I put two new mattings in it but this time I think I will only put in one because it comes up way too high, so one should suffice. I'll keep another one just if uh, this one is too dirty or something like that. Almost there. And my corkscrew rush I will have to divide it uh, next season because it's way too big and all of the roots are starting to grow way too hard so I'll need to get some out and 
I don't want to jump ahead because uh, I will have a new job and uh, they have a huge pond and with a bit of luck I might uh, film everything that I do on the pond it needs a lot of love and hopefully the owners give me the go to film uh, all the progress that I do on the pond okay so I'll put you guys back and uh, I'll see you after I filled everything back up again You know, for my biologic filter media, I just put it in a bucket, do it like up or down a few times, so that all the big floating debris out of it. I never rinse it down with a hose. And then I just add it on top of everything again. Back in the filter fall, put you guys back. It's higher. Yep, there we go. like this and let's start it back up there you have it that's it that's how I maintain the filter fall And it's been raining quite a lot the past couple of days. I already had to empty out this guy. It was all filled up to the top here, about this level. So that means that about 40 liters every square meter fell down. And now we're back again at uh, 13 liters. Yeah, 13. And I emptied it out yesterday. So in the last three days, it was 55, uh, 53 liters that fell down from the sky per square liter, a uh, square meter. Sorry. Now I don't know how you put it in a non-metric system. Would it be gallon per square foot? Uh, if you know, I'll leave it down in the comment section. And uh, oh yeah. I have great news. I ordered a Polaroid lens for my uh, camera, so hopefully in a week or two you won't see the glare of the water anymore, but you'll see straight down the bottom and uh, see my fish swim. And uh, also for my next video I wanted to see for charcoal, to add charcoal to the pond, because uh, apparently it's uh, very good to get, uh, how should I say, chemicals out. Uh, toxic stuff in the water out and it will be better for the fish now I have to do some research still to be 100% sure that I'll add it to the water but uh, I saw a lot of guys add it to their tanks so I think for the pond it shouldn't be bad and if I'm not mistaken um, Tobias Holenstein he has uh, active charcoal in his pond as well, his pool pond, so it should be fine to use. But uh, I'm going to search a bit of information on the internet and I'll keep you guys posted in my next video. Okay, so there was Pelty's Aquaria that uh, had his t-shirt out of control on his uh, vlog that he did. 
And now I have mine as well. If you guys own an out of control t-shirt, I would like to see it. And uh, put a comment down below and I will check out your video, your next video, if you put it on. And uh, I might subscribe as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My filter fall is all clean again. Just going to clean up a bit of the mess around it. And uh, that will be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on my next video. If you want to subscribe, do it here. And if you want to see my next video, we'll be here, guys. See ya.